YouTube, this is Charlie426, and today we have the review of an SHF figure. This is the SHF Alternative Zero. Now, this is not exactly a common rider. He's not considered as a, a official rider. I believe he's, um, in the wiki, basically he's like a, like a pseudo rider kind of thing, but yeah, he's, he's from Common Rider Rookie, or in the Western version, Common Rider Dragon Knight. Uh, he's more like of a different, uh, how should I say, concept, or... He's he's not basically he's basically not one of the main thirteen riders from the series because uh, the the alternative zero the deck and everything was made by someone else based on uh, the original design or uh, of the technology. So in in a sense, when we put into Gundam, he may look like a Gundam, but he's not a Gundam. Let's put it like that. Okay, so this is another SHF figure, and I have mentioned this before, I will be now getting into the new content, I will be getting more SHF figures more regularly, so you'll be seeing more figure reviews more often, especially with SHFs, and uh, when it comes to Robot Damashi, as long as there are, like, there's, like, something that gets my interest, I will review it, but if there isn't for a while, you'll be seeing more SHF figures. Alright, so now let's get on to the review. Now, first of all, I would like to mention, I've, I've mentioned in this uh, in another video before, is that I had to exchange mine because the moment I got this, the arm broke off. So, yeah. So, as usual, we're going to go with the components and articulation and any interesting aspects regarding the figure. So, first of all, what you get, of course, is Alternative Zero himself. We get his, um, yeah, we get his weapon. I forgot the name of the weapon, but that's his sword vent weapon. And we get multiple hands. So currently I'm using one op open hand for his left arm and then using a weapon holding hand for his right arm. So I'm going to increase the hand. Oh boy. So I'm going to so I'm gonna put that aside and see what you're supposed to get. Now from being from Kamen Rider Rookie, this was also the early times of the Heisei Rider. So we don't actually get much. Uh, at least for, uh, for Alternative Zero. So we get multiple hands for some reason. I mean, I was expecting... I was surprised to see a lot of hands. So first of all, we get another uh, open hand for his left arm, so which is pretty normal. And then we get the typical two fists. We get the two fists that comes with the f figure at the first time when you open it. And then we have these multiple hands for the weapon. So currently, I'm using this one. Now, as far as I, t I can tell, is that and I have tested before. And these, you have two types of grabbing hands for the weapons. And you can use both of these if you want to do so. But the only difference is that while this ha uh, this hand that uh, I am not using at the moment has a more angle has a more angle to it, while the other one is more of a straight vertical up handle. So it's really up to you with like which kind of pose or which kind of holding stance you prefer, I guess. So that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna put those away, and then we get two special hands actually. Which this one I'm gonna demonstrate. Number one is. The hand for holding these cards, which I absolutely love, because I was hoping to see like these cards, and then if they do give the cards, I also ho was hoping that we get hands that could actually hold those cards, and we actually do, which I will demonstrate later. And then we have this hand, which is meant for doing a certain pose, which is I never knew this was like alternative alternative zeros, like like signature pose where he's like putting his fingers on his head, where like you gotta use your head kit sort of like you know pose. So that's pretty much it for this hand. So you can see, unlike the actual open hand, you can see the two fingers uh, folded up and the other, other one opened up, while the other fully open hand has all four fingers out. So that's pretty much it. Now, in these figure reviews, I'm not going to demonstrate all sorts of poses because uh, I before taking before filming the video, I do actually take a good amount of pictures for the intro. So that's how I work. And then now we here we have uh, five cards. These are his uh, advent cards from his advent deck. So first of all, we're gonna start from the. Oops, sorry about that. We're gonna start from the left. We got the final event card, and then we have his sword vent. We have I forgot the name of this card, but basically this card is uh, is the ability where uh, here is his advent uh, event card, where he can summon his advent monster and then transform it into a motorcycle, which is an interesting concept. And then here we have the Axel vent, which is basically um, he. It's like he, he his speed increases, so he can move really fast. Which is another, which I find it a really interesting ability because none of the uh, rookie riders uh, actually have such card. So yeah. Okay, and for those who've seen the series, yes, the cards are have different designs because they uh, 
there they have barcodes uh, on a different you know, side and then there's also a lot of different uh, design aspects such as the back side as well yes I've uh, the back side is also properly designed I've heard like Figma Kamen Rider stuff uh, they don't they only give you one card which is the final vent uh, card and I heard the other side is not actually properly designed I heard it's just a blank blue paper sort of thing okay now let's get on to the review so I'm gonna take it away take the stand away and then let's see what we got now first of all I'm going to be I'm still a little bit you know traumatized by the fact that the moment I got this the arm broke so I'm still going to be a little bit careful so first of all uh, believe it or not I at first I was thinking that this guy had no content because in Kamen Rider Rookie every writer had like a concept of like an animal like Rookie being dragon um, you know guy being a rhino Raya being a stingray so when I looked at him it was like there, he really didn't look like a you know a creature based thing but according to the wiki he's actually based on a cricket for some reason I still don't know I still don't know why and I don't see it well if I had to guess as a kid I thought he was either based on like a bee or a fly because of the fly because of the sword kind of reminding me like you know the dirty like things of the fly uh, where he, he when you see a fly at, up front he's really prickly so that's why I thought it was that and for a bee I don't know for some reason when I looked at his helmet he kind of reminded me of, of a bee like you know how Kamen Rider is a bee or the wasp is okay so let's get on to the review now first of all let's go with the head uh, the head now despite being a visor it's not actually a clear piece it's just pure dark so you don't actually see anything inside but I do love the head and now by looking at close up, you can see sort of like, you know, uh, the, the mouth of a cricket sort of thing. So, yeah, I guess it's true. So, the head articulation is pretty good. It can go down that much, and then up that much, and then 360 is no problem at all, of course. There's no reason that this guy would be doing a 360 twist on his head because there's a human inside there. Okay, now let's look at the arms. Now the arms, they're pretty okay, actually. Actually, they have some, they had, they were interesting because they had some interesting elements I have not seen before up to this point yet um, now the shoulder pads they don't actually move because I believe some figures actually have some wobbly or moving shoulder pads this guy does not have that and then the shoulder movement is pretty good you can go forward and backward and actually you can kind of twist the 360 on itself and then you can go to the side about less than 90 degrees but almost 90 degrees it's just the shoulder armor actually blocking it and since and also you can twist the arm 360 if you want to do so and then here is the interesting part now when I first got the figure uh, this armor right over here on the arm was kind of on this position like that so because when and so when I bent it I was kind of surprised like there's no way that this figure can only bend less can bend less than 90 degrees but while fiddling around I realized this part could move and then you can bend the arm well, a little bit more so yeah that's how it works same goes for the other arm as well of course this is this part being more bulky um, you have to work your way around, but still it works as well. And also, unlike the Rookie Riders where they put the cards inside like a, like their visor slash card reader device, uh, Alternative Zero, this thing on this, on the right arm, that similar part, he actually slashes his card, so yeah. That's another difference regarding that. So you can see like the person who made this armor or rider is basically, he saw like the blueprints of something, but he made his own version. Okay, so now let's look at the body. Uh, oh yeah, also, the arm also does have its own 360 twist, but since mine is still fairly new, it's still pretty stiff. So yeah, if you want to loosen up, go for it. For the body, it's pretty good. I, I actually love the color job, the color scheme and color paint job that's done on this. So yeah, uh, it, can, it has a nice ab crunch as well. And believe it or not, this being alternative zero, he's actually the prototype of He's the prototype version, so there's actually a premium bond exclusive alternative, which is actually the complete version as well. So, and the only the few differences that like I'm not sure where, but he on the wiki mentions that there there is a bit of color difference on the body, I think. And then another interesting aspect is that if you look at on the side, you have this all nice silver engravings, and then engravings or something like that, and then you can see read type zero zero. Uh, yeah. So and, and this is actually like this is like another small like design factor that I was never aware about. So yeah, it's actually written type yeah type zero zero and then 
Now on the waste section right over here, I'm not sure my camera can show you guys, but it says trial and then proto. So once again, that's very cool for me. Uh, regarding the body itself, can you go 360? I'm not going to say no. You can only twist it only a little bit because most... Oh, wait, what? Okay, so I, I currently went up to 90 degrees. So yeah, if you force it, you can go around, but I'm not going to risk it because I'm kind of want worrying if that might snap the belt out but yeah if you force it you're possibly to do possible to do that and then we have its belt uh, this was the time where the belt didn't do much anything other than holding the advent deck the main toy gimmick was actually in the visor so yeah of course alternative zero never had a belt a DX belt I believe so yeah um, now another interesting small detail is that you can actually pull out the advent deck come on there we go oops and I absolutely love that small detail. And here, we, oops, sorry about that. Oh boy, here we have the advent deck. Come on, uh, it's actually you have the small details over there, and here we have the part where you can actually pu pull out the car. Of course, being a figure, that aspect is not actually in there. So yeah, uh, really love these small details regarding this. And also, for some reason, I on the back side there was kind of like a bit of a oil substance in there. I don't know why, but yeah. Maybe it was meant for it to come out a little bit easier. Okay, now let's look at the legs. Now the legs, um, they're, they're okay actually. I mean, you have a nice side swivel going on. Of course, it doesn't actually go 360 as far to my knowledge because something is blocking its way. And then the figure itself, you can go about 90 degrees, almost 90 degrees. Once again, it's being kind of hindered by the armor, less than, so yeah. But still good enough when considering that he is a human inside there. Uh, and then about less than 90 degrees because once again the side armor is is kind of getting in the way and then back also less very less uh, and then the legs have a nice double joint but they don't actually go all the way through because I don't know once again I think it's mostly the armor design that's kind of blocking the way and the feet um, yeah they're just your typical feet and this one actually twists because I also have another figure that doesn't actually twist its ankles but yeah and once again, like that's most SHF figures, the end tip of the, f ooh, that goes a lot more than I thought. Can go about 90 degrees up front. That's gonna be painful for a human, but yeah. And the foot itself can go up and a little bit down, and has an and doesn't have those one of those what they call a pivot joint, whatever, on the ankle. Okay, and then let's look at its accessories. Now the main sword vent. Once again, it's more of a, more, instead of a sword, it's more of a whacking stick with a lot of, like, you know, spikes on it. But still, it works very well. Now, once again, the way how you connect the weapons is basically jam the handle inside to the hand. So that's how it works. Now, I do want to mention, if there's something that can break easily, I'm not, well, this is just my guess, is that it would be this handle. So just be careful, because if you don't, like, if you, like, accidentally, you know, slip and you might break the handle okay so I'm gonna put this hand right over here oh actually no it's, it's on the other hand come to think of it yeah that makes sense because on the other hand you'll be ho holding the sword and the visor is on the what's we call it is on the right hand so uh, logically the card holding hand should be on the left for some reason my brain was not working properly so sorry about that aspect also, another kind of a small issue is that some hands, like, you may think they're actually, you know, inside there clearly, but some of them aren't actually. So, you, so you, you might need to push the hands, like, until you hear, like, a click or pop noise, because at first when I was taking pictures, the hands were falling off constantly, and I figured that the ball joint wasn't actually inside fully. Okay, so we have this hand that I finally was able to manage to put in. So, basically, all you need to do is just hold, just... There's a small gap between the first finger and then the sum. All you need to do is put the card inside there, and there you go. You have the card holding hand in there. Now I can—I assume you can put like two to three cards, which I have done before. Uh, but mostly in rookie writers, um, they don't use multiple cards at once. So yeah, you'll be mostly holding one card at a time. And I say that's pretty much it. Now for this one. 
Um, for Alternative Zero, because of its design and concept, I definitely recommend for those who love just collecting f cool figures in general, because his design, definitely, if, even if you don't know what Kamen Rider is or never seen the series, I think this is one of those figures that can basically, you know, impress a lot of, like, figure collectors, because it, his design in general looks very cool, his color concept is pretty cool, and yeah, he's overall really has that mechanical look overall. So I definitely recommend this to pretty much anybody. But once again, for those who are getting this, uh, just be careful, and, because since it happened to mine, there's no, there is also a chance that it could happen to you, but it's really low chance, but just be careful. You can just maybe ask or call the seller and then tell them to check the, the joint, the joints. So yeah. Anyways, thank you, for, thank you for watching the review. This was the review of the SHF Alternative Zero. If you guys got any questions or requests, leave a comment below. I still have more stuff to buy and build and make reviews out, so please stay tuned. Until then, see you guys next time!